Dear students, in this session, we are going to discuss about 6th Standard GK, Chapter 10, Protecting Wildlife. Write the names of the states or union territories in which these wildlife sanctuaries are located. The first sanctuary is Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. The Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary is an animal sanctuary in Wayanad, Kerala, India. A variety of large wild animals such as Indian bison, elephant, deer and tiger are found here. There are also quite a few unusual birds in a sanctuary, in particular Peafowl tend to be a very common in the area. Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary is the second largest wildlife sanctuary in Kerala. The second sanctuary is Sanjay Gandhi National Park. It is a 87 km square protected area in Mumbai, Maharashtra state in India. It was established in 1996 with headquarters at Bori Valley. It is notable as an one of the major national parks existing within a metropolis limit and is one of the most visited parks in the world. And the next sanctuary is Kalaudia Ghana National Park. Formerly known as the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary in Bharatpur, Rajasthan, India is a famous avifauna sanctuary that hosts thousands of birds especially during the winter season. Over 230 species of birds are known to be resident. It is also a major tourist center with source of ornithopologists arriving here in the hibernal season. It was declared in protected sanctuary in 1971. It is also a world heritage site. The next sanctuary is Manas Sanctuary. It is a national park, UNESCO Natural World Heritage Site, a project Tiger Reserve, an Elephant Reserve and a Biosphere Reserve in Assam, India. Located in an Himalayan foothills, it is contiguous with this with the Royal Manas National Park in Bhutan. The park is known for its rare and endangered endemic wildlife such as an Assam roofed turtle, his bit hair, golden langwer and pygmy hawk, Manas is famous for its population of the wild water buffalo. The next sanctuary is Mudumalai National Park located at Tamil Nadu. The Mudumalai National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary also a declared tiger reserve lies on the northwestern side of the Nilgiri Hills in Nilgiri district. About 150 kilometers north northwest of Coimbatore city in Tamil Nadu, India. It shares its boundaries with the states of Karnataka and Kerala. The sanctuary is divided into five ranges: Masinagudi, Teppakkadu, Mudumalai, Karkudi, and Nellakota. The next sanctuary is Jim Corpet National Park is the oldest national park in India and was established in 1936 as Haley National Park to protect the endangered Bengal tiger. It is located in Nainatyal district and Pauri Karwal district of Uttarakhand and was named after hunter and naturalized Jim Corpet. The park was the first to come under the Project Tiger initiative. The next sanctuary is Nandankanan Zoological Park. It is a 437-hectare zoo and botanical garden in Bhubaneswar, Odisha, India. Established in 1960, it was opened to the public in 1979 and became the first zoo in India to join World Association of Zoos and Aquariums in 2009. 
it is also contains a botanical garden and part of it has been declared as sanctuary the next sanctuary is bandipur national park established in 1974 as a tiger reserve under project tiger is a national park located in the indian state of karnataka which is the state with the second highest tiger population in india along with adjacent saint nagarkol national park it is one of the premier tiger reserves in the country it was once a private hunting reserves for the maharaja of kingdom of mysore but has now been upgraded to bandipur tiger reserve bandipur is known as its wildlife and has many types of biomes but dry deciduous forest in dominant the next sanctuary is gir national park and wildlife sanctuary also known as sazan gir is a forest and wildlife sanctuary near talala gir in gujarat india it is located 43 km north east of somnath 65 km south east of east of junagadh and 60 km of south west of amrel it was established in 1965 with a total area of 1412 km square of which 258 km square is fully protected as national park and 1153 km square as wildlife sanctuary the next sanctuary is dachingam national park is located 22 km from srinagar jammu and kashmir it covers an area of 141 km square the name of the park literally stands for 10 villages which could be in memory of the 10 villages that there were relocated for its formation these 10 villages were living in this region before the world war the beginning of the earlier 20th century the main gate entrance is very close to the new the general basin on the either side of the darul ulum quazaria now see the fill in the blanks the first question is the gahir mata marine wildlife sanctuary in odisha is a mass nesting site for the correct answer is olive ridley turtles the answer is olive ridley turtles the second philip is the bandavarg national park is madhya pradesh as a famous dash reserve the correct answer is tiger third question the periyar sanctuary in kerala is famous for its dash the answer is elephant the correct answer is elephant next question the cable lamjo national park in manipur is the only place where the endangered deer called sangai is found the correct answer is sangai fifth question the benagada national park in karnataka is the country's first butterfly park the answer is butterfly last question the gir sanctuary is known for asiatic lion the correct answer is asiatic lion now see the next pattern identify these animals found in india the first question see the picture this ape has arms that are so long that the fingertips touch the ground when it stands it is seen in parts of assam and, and arunachal pradesh this ape name is hulo gibbon second one it is the biggest antelope in india it lives in the plains and lower hills and feeds on shrubs and grass the right answer is nilgai third question 
It is the largest species of cattle in the world, though it is found in many places in South Asia and the largest population is found in India. So the correct answer is Gar. Fourth question. See the picture. It is a species of crocodile found in the Ganga, Brahmaputra and Mahanati. It is one of the longest crocodiles. The answer is Gariel. Fifth one. It is the world's tallest flying bird with the male standing 1.8 meter tall. It is found mainly in western Gujarat. The flying bird name is Saras Grain. The sixth question. This swamp deer has impressive antlers. It derives its name from the number of tines. Tines means prongs commonly found on its antler. This antler's name is Barasinga. Seventh one, it is a species of pig that lives in the wild. It has a tusk which is used as weapons and tools. The answer is Indian wild boar. The last question, it is a small tree dwelling mammal with large saucer like eyes. It is mainly found in the tropical forest of South India. The answer is slender lorries. Now see the chapter 11, help at hand. While at home or outside, we can face situations that require first aid. Here are some common measures you should follow in such situations. The first situation is when a foreign body gets into the eye. Don't rub the eye. Splash water into the eye while keeping it open. You can also immerse your eyes into an eye cup or a bowl of water and open and shut your eyes several times. The next situation. Mild burns. Cool down the burn quickly by holding it under running water for at least 10 to 20 minutes. This helps prevent inflammation and scarring. Apply an antiseptic lotion cream after drying the area. Next instruction. Fainting. A person faints when there is a sudden and brief interruption of blood supply to the brain. He or she should be made to lie down. No liquids should be given as the person may choke. The next situation is minor nosebleeds. A slight knock or scratch breaks the blood vessels inside the nose and causes bleeding. A minor nosebleed can be stopped by pinching the nose just above the nostrils or by applying eyes. Next one, a sprained ankle. Keep the foot elevated while lying down. Apply ice packs on the affected area for about 20 minutes at a time every 3 to 4 hours. Next one, minor cuts. Clean the wound with water and apply antiseptic cream. Bleeding should normally stop in 10 minutes if it doesn't apply gentle pressure on the wound. The final instruction is insect bites. Wash the area thoroughly with soap and water. Place ice wrapped in a cloth on the affected area. Apply calamine lotion or baking soda paste to prevent itching. Dear students, in this session we saw two chapters. Chapter 10, Protecting Wildlife and Chapter 11, Help at Hand. Thank you students.